Hello everyone, my name is John Quixote, and once again today we are going to be playing Stories, The Path of Destinies. So, if you enjoy what you see want to try the game out for yourself, check the link in the description. And last time we found out that the, the, the core, it needs a balance. You need to be peaceful, have inner peace in order to keep it from corrupting you or, uh, exploding or something i i forgot already sorry it's still it's still early in the morning for me <laughs> so uh we have the choice to either you know go ahead and try to find the inner peace but risk um not making it to the rebellion in time and them getting destroyed or rushing over to the rebellion to help them out to try to save them with the risk of whatever happening if we don't have the inner peace in order to maintain it so I'm going to go with... The one thing he understood from all the toad arguments. Maybe the stone did not feed on blood or souls or rage. It fed on empathy. It fed on the pain he felt when he put an end to another being's existence. Even if that other being was a raven intent on killing him. If he could find peace, then he could use the power of the Ibla stone without being taken over by its evil. The mountains. He would go to the mountains. He could find peace there. Back in sec. Unfortunately, the mountains were not empty. There were ravens everywhere. No matter. He had to fight, yes, but he didn't have to be angry. Parry, dodge, slash, and breathe. Yes, focus on the rhythm, the dance of it. Not on the blood or the raven's caw as they died. Ah, oh, it was working. He wasn't feeling those dark jolts of eldritch energy. He wasn't feeding the Iblis Stone. Alright, so basically my thoughts on that were just... If it requires you to be at peace, you gotta be at peace. So, I mean, if... if If not being at peace is going to, like, fuck everyone over, I mean, it's better you be late than, you know, destroy everything. Yeah, just, it, it, instead of just destroying everything, I mean, what's the point of saving like everyone Tarzan. just to blow up? Because, I mean, that's kind of what it's making, either they said that or that's what they're making it out to sound like. Like, you're either going to destroy everything, or you're going to kill everything if you don't, you know, channel your inner peace. Shit. Please let me go back. Because I wasn't done exploring. Just when I got out there in time. Don't be blocked, don't be blocked. Okay, good, you're not fucking blocked. Okay, I'm not gonna trust that platform. We're gonna backtrack a little bit here. Cause, wait, what? Oh shit, can I go back? Oh, fuck! I can't go back! <laughs> oh, god damn it. Oh, there was a barrel down there. I wanted to smash the barrel. This was definitely better than pulling yourself up in a bucket. I would say so. Especially if you're like me and weigh quite a bit. I mean, yeah, buckets. Pulling yourself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God. Okay, that worked. Out. <laughs> There we go. Okay, I can't do anything with that. Um, I do not know. Oh, I'll just have a dash, to thought Renato. I have to use a sword to open this one up. So, uh, I, I mean, but it's honestly, I don't understand why they even have the hero sword one because I mean that's the first that you have to get the hero sword. So there's no point to really putting up the hero sword one. I don't know which one to take. I'm going to take this one. 
damn it, I chose wrong. I fucking chose wrong again. Fuck, 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 fuck! Alright, now that I got that out of my system, let's beat the shit out of these Ravens. Oh yeah, I forgot, I'm supposed to be at peace with this, aren't I? I'm not doing a very good job of showing that I am, uh, inner peace. The stone was still silent. His mind was his own. And his heart, too. He bore them no ill will, these ravens. They were doing their job. They were expressing their nature. Dance, <laughs> whirl, parry, jab, and breathe. It was all so simple, wasn't it? But something was missing. Hmm, he didn't feel truly at peace. Wait, wasn't this near where Calaveras lived? Ah, the sage would help him figure it all out. Woody, I don't want to get backstabbed again. I don't want to be traitored again. Man, we are going up high. Uh, all right, let's see. Oop, oop, is this something? Oh, I thought that was something. It looked like it was a staircase over there. Okay, don't need any health, don't need any of that. So we will just go on. Man, I, if this was real life, I'd hate to go over those bridges. <laughs> no. Yeah, um, I don't like heights, so just the idea of this right here, just, I mean, with the ground falling underneath, it just kind of gives me some weird feelings on, down the back of my back. And neck, I guess. I guess that's how the saying goes, back of the neck. Oh, what did I do? What? Uh, okay. Then we can put it back up. The Iblis Stone, silenced by the Sky Ripper's core, had given Renato enough ah, power shit. to challenge the Imperial fleet. But what Renato was seeking was inner peace. The rebellion was on the verge of extinction, but it would have to wait. See, so I actually do need a little bit of help. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's, it's always better to have your uh, weapons fully charged. And in a way to where they're not going to just immediately blow up in your face. So, b basically, we don't... We might, right now, Renardo is a, a glass cannon. Very powerful. But he'll pro he'd probably end up... Uh, True sword foo. Attack enemies at any distance. Auto activates when reaching certain combo thresholds. Okay. We'll upgrade that. But yeah, right now he's kind of like a glass cannon. He's going to cause massive damage. But at the same time, he's going to like destroy everything. So it's it for the best, for the best of everyone. We are seeking inner peace. So At the, the end of the mountain path, he found the wise Calaveras in his workshop. Do you fix souls or only artifacts? He asked the sage. Does your soul need fixing? Asked the sage. I've been killing a lot of ravens lately. He told the sage. You're, you're, a, you're a fox, said Calaveras. <laughs> and to kill birds is just, just part of your nature. Stay joy in it. I mean, I might as well worry about eating flies. Don't you like a fly? <laughs> it was true. That's what he had forgotten. The joy. Now he was ready for the final battle. The farfarer cut through the clouds. The air had never felt so sweet since he was a child. There it was. The dreaded Imperial fleet. He could smell wet hemp ropes ahead. Wood and tar and ravens. Even the fleet smelt good, somehow. He was ready. Mm, he was ready. 
Oh, it doesn't look like it's going to give us a choice this time. Back in a sec. Come, come. Renato had it all squared away in his head. He would kill the Emperor. Isengrim III had begun well, but he had gone mad. He was trying to invoke the Lost Gods by means of dark, blasphemous rituals. That was a secret. But the victims had spoken to Renato. The ghosts had spoken. No. No anger. Renato could not afford anger. It was empowering the crystal in his sword. That made him stronger, but it clouded his mind. He would not be a hero. A hero strives. Bernardo would just be one with everything. Hmm. The Emperor would die, and the wheel would turn, and all would be restored without rancor, without sorrow, without pain. I do like the fact that now that I have the flame sword, it seems like none of the fucking doors require the damn flame sword. What the fuck is up with that? Can I please have a flame sword? Oh, no, still not enough. Well, Grant, I don't think I've even been in a fight since I left. Don't look down, he thought. Shut the fuck up. I've already been over this. <laughs> Wait, which one? Fuck y'all, stop! seems to be a little bit more difficult than it should for trying to get rid of that damn fucking shield. Alright, let's see what this does. Okay, yeah. So, it seems like this is all going to be the same as last time, but we're going to check to see how the ending goes this time. So <laughs> this thing really needed a roof. First a guardrail, then a roof. Will you never be satisfied? I still don't know what those fucking things do. <laughs> oh, sh oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. What, why did I do that? Oh, we're going over here. We're going to kill. We're going to heal again. <laughs> Why couldn't you have been a fucking fire fire door? I mean, seriously, seriously. It, wh what the hell? Oh wait, I thought I thought I got you with that. There we go. Now you're dead. Now you're dead. Now you died. Alright, and it I actually was do definitely easier to fight inanimate objects. Yes it is. It really is a lot easier to fight inanimate objects. I can win like nine times out of ten against an inanimate object. Hey, hey, don't do that kind of math in your head. 
No, 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 no. See, see, what you're misunderstanding is... Oh, shit! And I'm getting out of there. <laughs> I started you fucking fuckster! Fuck you! Yeah. Oh my god, this is pissing me off now! I guess now I find out what's next, he thought. Okay, these fights get like really ridiculous with how much okay this I I'm I'm I really am getting pissed off here okay let's let's regain health Shield! What the fuck? Touche, he said. All and right. Died. I'll be right back once I beat this. Uh, it's really starting to piss me off, honestly. But I'll be right back as soon as I I uh, get kill these guys. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, you're still alive. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh. I'm sorry, but if they don't give you invincibility frames, they do not need to throw shit like that at you all the but time. The more he thought or about like it, that. and he had so much more time to think oh, about shit. it now that he was not worrying about the battle, killing the Emperor would not change anything. Another would take his place. Perhaps Zenobia. Perhaps the Speaker of the Rebel Council and power would corrupt them too and death would make grief. And grief would lead to hatred. Uh, he must lead by example. Reject the violence. Reject the desire to create violence. But how? That's a pretty good question, actually. I keep on expecting another fight. I think this is going to lead to another fight area. <sighs> Let's heal up real quick. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I'm next to Baza. This is going to be another fight. Really area. didn't have much in the way of safety, did it? Come on! Damn it! There we go, that works. Battles get really frustrating just because of the fact that 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 little bit of lag that it feels like is there. I don't like I said. I don't know if it's there or not. It feels like it's there. It, it really throws off. He was sort of yanking his own shape, wasn't he? For the kind of style of combat they're going for, they needed to adjust that. They need to adjust the. Uh... Granted, I don't know. I did, I. 
I haven't made a video game, so I don't know exactly what all goes into it, but it just seems like, ah, oh, it could have been done just a little bit better. Especially with, I, like I said, I love the premise of how to, uh... Soon he'd confront the Emperor. Funny that this whole war had come about because the Emperor feared death. And now it was coming for him. There was some sort of lesson there, wasn't there? Alright, let me heal up because I already know. This is gonna be a battle. What are you? What are you? What are you? What the fuck are you? Alright, so I need to destroy you. Sorry if I clipped the mic there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my gosh! Fuck! Fuck this game sometimes! I mean... Ah! Oh. It just feels like they needed to polish the combat up just a little bit more. Maybe add some invincibility frames. I don't know. It just... I don't know, it, like I said, it just, some of this is really irritating because it doesn't feel like it's your fault. You see, then you grab and... It's like sometimes you do something and it requires time to get it done. Let's see if we can get this done. There we go. It's, it's like the, the Batman combat, but it's it, it's not quite on the level of the Batman combat. It's, it's like lacking a little bit. It's still overall good, It's but it can be very frustrating. But alright, let's see what this does for us. What Finally, he came to the Emperor's ship. The path behind him was strewn with dead ravens. The path to enlightenment. His mistake, he realized, was trying to change the world. The world would spin and the wheel would revolve whether he strove against it or not. What he had to do was nothing. He had attained enlightenment. Uh. He sat down, adopted a full lotus position, and began to meditate. And all around him, the warriors stopped fighting too. They knew. They could feel his enlightenment. They gave up fighting, dropped their weapons, and became his disciples. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. The nearest raven stabbed him with a sword and then chopped off his head. I might not have thought this through properly. Thought Renato's head as it rolled around the deck <laughs> and died. Okay, so... Renato stared at the book. He was still alive, again, and still only <laughs> flying away from burning Ubar. Had he lived that adventure, or only dreamt it? Had he really died? <laughs> it felt so real, not like a dream <sighs> at all. And he'd lost again. Oh, he hated that. But 
He had made different choices. And he'd lost in a different way. It was the book, wasn't it? Oracles showed you your destiny. But this... This was showing him different ways he could die miserably. Thanks a bunch, book, he thought. But these were destinies that he did not have to fulfill. But he'd learned another true thing. The Iblis Stone was evil. It would try to corrupt anyone who used it. All right, so we just got the uh, story ending number 15, Return of the Hippie. <laughs> oh, and I thought it was going so well, too, until the end. It just kind of threw it there. It just threw us off. But all right, everyone. Uh, we're going to call it here today. So if you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Let me know if you want to continue this one on. I might go ahead and play through it again. I like this. Like I said, the combat is getting kind of frustrating a little bit, mainly because of a one or two issues that they that probably could be fixed, and it would be perfect. But I really do love the whole idea of choosing your destiny, choosing what happens in the story based off of, should I do this? Should I do that? Um, apparently... What I thought was a good thing about, you know, finding inner peace and not becoming a glass cannon. Apparently, I fucked up with that. Uh, <laughs> so, see y'all in the next episode. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye!